Hey guys, this is a quick how-to video on how to create a drum track in Ableton Live using the Korg Nanopad 2 as a MIDI controller. If you find these video videos useful, then please click the like and subscribe button. Okay, so here we go. We're in Ableton Live. This is Ableton Live 10, but the same process will apply to previous versions of it also. We have a new MIDI track on track one here. If you do not have a MIDI track, just click right click and press insert MIDI track, or else you can press Control, Shift and T. Go to drums on the left hand menu, and depending on the version of Ableton Live, you could have uh, only a few drum kits here or a lot. I have the Ableton Live 10 suite here, so I have quite a lot. So I'm going to go to this kit. You can preview the kits by pressing this little headphone icon. So I'm going to drag that onto the mini clip. Then I'm going to drag the loop markers here and press loop. I'll tell you why I'll do that in a second. Okay, so now we have our Ableton drum rack and when we click, when we press on the nano pads, touch keys we see nothing this is because this the the octave is set wrong for this so press the scene button and go to scene one by default this will change it to the lower octave and that that will then align with the drum samples and what the ableton live drum rack will expect so here this will automatically map to the kick snare snare impact and hi-hat Okay, so now we can go ahead and just create a drum track straight away. Click on the record button. If you have this plus icon clicked, then it will overlap MIDI notes on top of each other, which will allow us to overlay and create our drum pattern. If you do not have this click, then it will override the drum pattern every time you do it. I'm gonna press on the metronome and then start playing the drum track. Okay, that's our initial drum track laid down. If we press play, we can turn off the metronome, and there we go. Now, if you click into this, we can expand the MIDI notes, and some of the notes are a little bit off, so we can quantize these into time. So go to quantize settings. This will align it to a grid and keep it more in time. I'm gonna align these to 1 16th, so that's 16th notes, and press okay. And there we go, we've aligned the notes better. You don't always want it to be exactly metronomic. If you want to alter these slightly, you can use grooves um, and select grooves. We can cover that in another video. Uh, but that's the basics on how to create a drum track using the Korg Nano Pad 2. These are velocity sensitive pads, so they're they're pretty good. They're They're pretty useful for creating drum tracks. Um, but there are lots of other MIDI controllers available. If you want to get a MIDI controller specifically just for laying down beats, then this probably is not your best option. Uh, but if you want to have a, something which is useful for laying down beats, as well as using the XY functionality to create synth, lo synth loops and so on, this is quite a good option. So I hope you found this video useful. And if you want to keep up to date with other tips and tricks, anything related to electronic drums, beat making and drum production, then make sure to like the video and click subscribe because that does help. All right guys, thanks for watching.